when you go to github the first thing that you would see is you would see a sign in button here assuming that you already have an account click sign in once you click sign in then you have to log in so you enter your username your password once you click sign in you would be logged in and this is most likely the dashboard that you would get from here go click your profile name the profile icon and then click your profile once you click that you should most likely see this kind of page not not something you know you wouldn't see a dancing dino or jumping dino there but you would see something like this go click the repository there you would not see anything in your case because you don't have a repository yet now to quickly say what is a repository a repository is very similar like a folder in your computer imagine github is like the entire computer and repository is like the folder and inside folder you can have multiple files so what we are trying to create here is for this particular assignment we are trying to create a repository that will say you know uh, sql practicing like something like the sql learning or sql murder mystery something like this and add the repository after you add the repository add some description this is this contains the code for sql murder mystery exercise something like that and make your repository public that's how i can see it and add a readme file make sure that you click this tick mark so it makes it easier and if you are you know familiar with uh, open source licensing then you can give a licensing not required at this point click create repository once you click create repository you will have this own folder here with the readme file ready so the readme file follows an extension called md md here stands for markdown so if you want to add a title in the markdown you add a hash this is a great class something like this and then click commit changes click commit changes so you can see now there is a title added here so this is how md markdown works but you have two options one a lot of you have already created a docx which is a word file so you can either use that directly and upload it if you do not want to take the pain just go here add the file upload file and just choose the file like select the file here whatever file that you want and add the file in, in your case your assignment docx all you have to do is um, let's say this is the photo is what i want to upload i can select that file after this green bar completes i can click here commit changes and i'm done so at this point inside my repository i have the file that has to be added added copy this repository link you can go to this website that i will link it in the email so you can go here and sell uh, add the docx file which is the word file that you already have so get the docx file and once you have it you can select either um, you know upload choose file or drag and drop it here once you have that here it is going to convert this entire docx into an md markdown file select md markdown here which is markdown md once you have the md file here you can select continue and that will create the markdown file for you you can download this file and then go back to your sql thing and then upload this file here drag and drop it and call that readme.md so this is another option next option that you have is if you have 10 sql questions you can add those 10 sql answers as dot sql file separately so you can go here create a new file and then you can say uh, first dot sql so that means is the first dot sql so you can add the sql file here and you can add the respective screenshot um, add the first dot sql commit changes commit changes and then go to your readme edit the readme and then add the screenshot of the image like for example if you want to add a screenshot let's say you have a you have a screenshot like this somewhere like this copy the screenshot go back and then paste the screenshot once you paste the screenshot the screenshot would be added to the readme and once you commit changes commit changes you can see the screenshot of the result in the readme so the second option the first option we saw is simply go upload the file one simply upload the docx file two convert the docx into md and upload it md convert the docx into md and upload it so so far we are we have discussed three options option one just simply upload the docx file the word ms word file option two convert the docx or word file into an md markdown file and upload it option three go to the repository and upload individual sql files with the dot sql extension and for the respective sql query whatever the output was take a screenshot and then add it to the readme.md so go click the readme 
edit the readme and then add it option four is you paste everything inside the readme you paste your sql query inside the readme and you place the output inside the readme or the uh, screenshot of the output in the readme so we have discussed four options whichever option is easier for you just pick it do it and then click copy the repository link